Hello everyone, Mr. Kaczynski with you. Gonna find volume of cubes, prisms, and pyramids in this video. It's part of section T in IXL's eighth grade math. Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna need some formulas to do this. First one is that volume of a prism is capital B times capital H. Uh, I use capital B to represent the area of the base. And then capital H is the height of the prism. Okay, so we got a two-dimensional area, and then we're seeing how many of those are stacked on top of each other. That would be the height, and that would give us our volume. All right, and we also have that the volume of a pyramid is one-third of that above formula. All right, so we'll use those a few times. But I'm going to use a completely different formula for this one, and that is volume equals e cubed because with a cube like this where all the edge lengths are the same we can just kind of take a shortcut and do 8 cubed all right and 8 to the third power on a calculator let's use that is 512 so 512 cubic yards So the other formula would work too, you know, if we find, if we call this the base, the area of it would be 8 squared, which is 64, and then we multiply by the height, which is another 8, and 64 times 8 would give us 512 as well. This is just kind of a shortcut. But here we go, we're going to do that on this one. Volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. Alright, so in this case... Our base, uh, it really doesn't matter on a rectangular prism, you can pick any of the faces to be the base, but I'll call it that two by one uh, rectangle right there. So let's rewrite this formula. The volume is, uh, the base is a rectangle, so how do you find volume of a rectangle? Base times height, length times width, whatever. So that's what we're gonna put in, and the height, that capital H, is gonna be this distance between the two two by one rectangles that we're calling the base. All right, so let's do this. Let's go two for the base of the base, if that makes sense. Uh, one for the height, and the height of the entire prism is five. So two times one is two, times five is ten. Ten meters cubed is the volume of this prism. So area of the base is 2, as in 2 square meters. When we multiply by the height, 5 meters, we get 10 cubic meters. Let's do it again this time with a triangular prism. Now the formula I'm going to use, or start off with anyway, is the same. Volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. Now in this case though, the base is a little bit different. Um, it's a triangle. So triangles, we do one half base times height. I'm using lowercase h for the height of the two-dimensional base, and I'm using capital H for the height of the three-dimensional prism. All right, so let's plug in some values here. We're going to do one half. Uh, the base is that seven. The height is this eight. And the height of the entire prism is the seven, the distance between the two triangles. All right, so maybe we do one half of eight is four. Seven times seven is 49, so 49 times four is 196 cubic yards. So find the area of the base, which would be um, basically 56 divided by 2, 28, and then take that 28 and multiply it by 7, and that would give you the volume. Just the area of the base, it, the base formula changes depending on the shape. All right, so now we have a pyramid. So we're gonna use a slightly different formula. It's one third 
the area of the base, well, it's a big tail on my three, times the height of the pyramid. Let's fix that, there we go. So, um, what's our base this time? It's, it's a triangle, okay? It could be different shapes, it could be a square down there, it could be a rectangle down there. Um, but this case is a triangle, so we're going to do one half um, base times height. See, this looks a little crazy, but you could actually take this red out and do it on the side. Maybe that would be easier for you. So we're going to do one third times one half times. The base we'll call 7, the height of this triangle we'll call 13, and then the height of the entire pyramid is 9. Alright, so 7 times 13 is 91, divided by 2 is 45.5. This is probably a step I don't necessarily need to show. I could go all calculator at this point, but we're going to do one third the area of the base times the height of the prism or the pyramid. One third the area of the base, which is 45.5, times the height of the prism, which is 9. Well, I know one third of 9 is 3, so let's just type in 3 times 45.5, and that gives us 136.5. Cubic meters. And that's our volume of this triangular pyramid. All right, now we got to work backwards a little bit because we're given volume and we want to go backwards and figure out one of the dimensions. So again, I just memorized two formulas area of the base times the height of the prism. But that changes this time because. I guess I'll consider this the base, all right? So I'm going to do base times height, because it's a rectangle, times height. Not, it's not so bad. Here we go. 1360 is our volume. Our base we'll call V, base of our base, if that makes sense. Our height of our base we'll call 8. And the height of our prism is this distance right here, which we'll call 17. Let's simplify the right side a little bit. We can just do 8 times 17, which is 136. So 136 V on the right. And then we'll just divide both sides by 136. So 1360 divided by 136 is 10, as in 10 millimeters is that missing dimension. So if we just do the three dimensions, 10 times 8 times 17, multiply them by each other, we'll get 1360. Let's do another one like that. So we're going to do volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. In this case, our base is a triangle, so that would be one half base times height times the height of the prism. We're given the volume 713.4. Our triangle here has a base of 10. and a height of 8.7 and our pr um, prism has a height of A. Alright, so simplify the right. 1 half times 10 is 5, 5 times 8.7 is 43.5. So 43.5 A on the right. All we got to do is divide both sides by 43.5, and we get 16.4. So A is 16.4 millimeters. And one more um, comes full circle here. We're back to the first formula we used. Volume of a cube is its edge length cubed. We're given this kind of ridiculous volume here, 4410.944. Um, equals E cubed, 
And what we want to do is take the cube root of both sides to undo this. So I've got my scientific calculator here um, on Desmos.com. If I just do a cube root of 4410.944, that gives me 16.4. So 16.4 is the edge length. Point four meters. All right, a lot going on there. Volume of cubes, prisms, and pyramids. Work through it. Good luck. Let me know how it goes.